There's been a number of videos recently from YouTubers who say that they're experts, predicting that sodium batteries will never be a big thing. There's um, some interesting claims out there, but I think a lot of that's clickbait. It was reported today that China's lithium battery demand will crash in early 2026. The biggest reason? Sodium ion batteries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. Guys, happy new year. Speaking of a new year, this year is going to be, it's going to be um, very interesting. CATL, the world's largest battery company by far. They have nearly 40% global market share. They say they have deployed large scale sodium ion batteries and that this will continue in 2026. Now, Car News China just reported, guys, that CATL plan on a large scale sodium ion battery deployment across multiple sectors in 2026. So not just energy storage, but also electric cars. The company described expanded applications in battery swap systems. So battery swapping for EVs, passenger vehicles, commercial vehicles, energy storage, indicating a significant commercial deployment phase for sodium ion tech. In other words, CATL is it's mass producing um, sodium ion batteries. We know that it's already doing it. But clearly, CATL are not just mass producing sodium batteries in one factory. It sounds like they're planning uh, a mega, as in a mega launch of sodium batteries over the next one year, maybe two years. But either way, they are going to scale up clearly. Now, experts predict that by the end of this year, sodium ion battery prices will have come down to 40 US dollars, 40 US dollars at the sell price, which is about. 33% cheaper than lithium ion phosphate, which is at around about 55 to 60 US dollars at the sell price. CATL say eventually the price will fall to around 19 to 20 US dollars per kilowatt hour. Chinese financial media, as reported by Car News China, said that at the supply conference, CATL said its sodium ion and lithium ion battery technologies are expected to develop in parallel, describing this as a dual star trend with broader deployment in 2026. Now, analysts are saying, the global sodium ion battery industry is shifting from early commercialization toward scaled deployment with current market use concentrated in energy storage, low range electric cars and hybrids, plug-in hybrids and e-revs, and auxiliary systems, meaning things like 12 volt EV batteries, and also anticipated expansion into passenger and commercial vehicles. Those reports said that in 2025, average sodium ion cell prices remained much lower than those of lithium ion equivalents. And industry forecasts project substantial growth in the sodium ion market through 2030. In April 2025, CHL announced the launch of its sodium ion battery, the new Naxtra battery. It says these batteries can last more than 5 million kilometers in an EV and over 100 years for energy storage purposes. These cells are designed to operate across a much wider temperature range than lithium ion phosphate. They are usable at minus 40 degrees Celsius up to 70 degrees Celsius, and they can charge much quicker in extreme temperature situations. So that's one big advantage they have. They are offered in both passenger vehicle power battery formats and a 24 volt integrated battery solution for heavy trucks. The product line was introduced as the company's first commercially oriented series of sodium ion cells. And if you didn't think this was serious, well, BYD is working on their own sodium batteries. In fact, they're already mass producing them, but I believe they're working on a generation version two. There is numerous battery companies around the world that have publicly admitted they are working on sodium ion cells, even including companies like LG Energy Solutions. Early disclosures by CATL have provided additional technical context for its sodium ion battery roadmap, what it plans on doing. In September 2025, the company said its next-gen sodium ion battery support a pure electric driving range, as in EV-only driving range of more than 500 kilometers in passenger vehicles, and it's ready for mass production aligned with a 2026 timeline. Now, there is still a lot of skeptics and they're posting this stuff on YouTube, telling their followers, in some cases, some of them have hundreds of thousands, that this is not happening. Put your head in the sand, hide your head in the sand. There's no changes, there's no changes, there's no changes. Don't worry, the world is staying the same. I don't think that's accurate. 
If you'd like to book a paid consultation, uh, you can do so. And I'll put a link in the description below. If you want advice on what electric car to buy, solar systems, all that kind of stuff, you can do that. Cadel said that the, their batteries, their sodium batteries, have a higher energy density than BYD's Blade battery at 175 watt hours per kilo. So that means they can easily mass produce these batteries for electric cars. And large scale supply is expected to be proceed in line with customer rollout schedules. It sounds like there's going to be quite a few EVs over the next 12 months that will have these batteries in them. The company's sodium ion battery products have passed China's latest national battery standard for electric vehicle batteries, making them the first sodium ion batteries to achieve this new certification. This certification basically says they can't explode. Um, they are not bomb proof, not fire proof, but not far off it. The national standard will take effect in mid 2026 and it sets some really strict safety requirements for thermal stability uh, to prevent any future battery fires um, and also for mechanical impact resistance. In other words, if you're in a crash and someone hits your car, then these batteries have to not, not catch fire. That's what China's saying. Third-party testing showed that CATL's sodium ion cells and battery packs met all of these new required safety tests under these standards. So they've already, they're already ahead of most manufacturers when it comes to meeting these standards. CATL also highlighted performance features of its sodium ion batteries, noting their improved safety profile compared with lithium ion phosphate or lithium NMC batteries, basically any batteries in the market currently. They say that at low temperature conditions, they have better performance, which appears accurate. And the company says that they are really ideal in places where it's cold, where lithium ion phosphate batteries don't perform as well, don't charge as well, don't hold their, don't hold their charge as well either. Sodium ion cells have been reported to achieve energy densities that support extended pure electric driving range, says Car News China. So that means people are saying, many experts have said, they won't take off in electric cars because the energy density is too low, but that is completely misinformed. CATL is saying, well, you can say what you want, but um, we're getting the orders. We're building the fat, we're building the supply lines. They've already, they've already started mass production and we don't need lithium for it. Uh, it's cheaper to produce. Now imagine when five years from now, companies have Using the, the concept of Moore's law, the double production you know, several times over, imagine the, the cost reductions we're going to see. I mean, Tony Sieber predicted that the electric car prices would come down to $5,000 US because of the massive cost reductions. Now, of course, uh, this is just the battery part of the car. You still got to make the car. But if you consider the robotics, you know, car companies and car factories are getting rid of human, human people. Uh, they're replacing them with humanoid robots. And CATL are doing the same thing on their battery production lines. So this is going to lead to further cost reductions. The development of sodium ion batteries has progressed alongside broader national energy storage and new energy vehicle strategies in China. Basically, CATL, they have had to compete, right, on price with everyone else, everyone. Uh, Eve Energy, right, CALB, BYD, Panasonic, LG Chem, SK on. They're all doing the same thing, yeah? And for a couple of years, a few years ago, CATL said, well, we're going to get around all this competition by producing sodium ion batteries at a 40% cost reduction versus lithium ion phosphate. We won't have to compete with all of them if we can make batteries that are good enough, right? If they have good enough energy density that they can compete with lithium ion phosphate or NMC batteries, and then we can undercut them massively with a product that's actually better. And that's what's happened here. It's kind of a scary situation for all of their rivals because this is the biggest battery company in the world. This is the McDonald's of the industry. And now they have a burger that's better than everyone else's burger, which costs half the price. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Guys, if you want to install solar panels, a home battery, or a home charger, the best way to do this for your situation is to go to the links in the description below and they'll take you to a page where you can compare everyone. 
So depending on where you, it doesn't matter where you live, a lot of people email me all the time saying, well, what solar system should I get? Who should I go with? What battery should I get? What electric charger should I get? Well, click in the links in the description and you can actually compare all the different choices and find the best deal for you. I'll put that link in the description below. Additionally, there is a battery savings calculator link and also a federal battery rebate calculator. I personally have found that I'm not paying for electricity at all, and that's including charging my two electric cars and also running my home power, my home sauna, um, nothing not paying anything at all. And I think a lot of people are getting misled. They think that getting a battery is not worth it. Actually, I think it is worth it. So those links are in the description below.